here on Lake Garda, it seems like the spring lasts forever here. If something lacks here for total relaxation, come here. I think I can definitely stop here. It was not a silly man to choose such a location with this nature, with these views. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Sermione today and I keep exploring the beautiful, beautiful Lake Garda. Uh, if you have seen my previous vlog from Desenzano del Garda, you know by now that I'm trying to discover Lake Garda in winter to see uh, what it's like traveling here in winter and not, you know, traditionally during summer. And if you haven't seen that previous vlog, I will leave you a link up here, so make sure to check it out. And today we are in Sermione. Sermione is a very, very famous destination on Lake Garda, and you can say so just by a look at the parking near the city. It's full, despite it being winter, it's so, so full, and I've seen lots of German and Austrian cars, and I know that this place is quite famous among tourists from Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands as well. And yeah, it seems like there are more tourists than in Desenzano, however, I'm still very excited to explore this city in winter and to see what it looks like. The sun is shining, the weather is really good and we're ready to explore, so let's go with me! Yeah. Guys, come here! Look at this swan! I love that there are always swans and ducks uh, swimming here. Oh, hi! Come here! <laughs> I think you came to say hi. Oh my, that's so nice. And it said I don't have anything to, to feed him. Anyway, guys, that's so nice to see swans and ducks here among all of the boats. And speaking of boats, Despite it being winter, there are boat tours. I can see people offering boat tours to people. Uh, 30 minutes on boat around Lake Garden, around Sermione will cost you about 10 euros. And yeah, if you want to look at this city from the water, you have this opportunity even in February, March, you know, um, I think probably in all winter months. And it's a good thing because there is no ferry during winter. However, yeah, you can still enjoy a boat trip. I find it really cool that you enter the city through the castle gate. Basically, the castle is right here, the beginning of your tour of the city. And this castle once belonged to the Scaliger family, a very powerful um, family from Milan. They were the seniors of uh, Sirmione and of the uh, areas nearby. And if you're a history lover, if you're anything like me and if you're a history lover, I think this place is a must and I'm gonna explore it today. I hope it's open for public and that we can visit it because I have this feeling that the view from those towers would be absolutely insane. Okay guys, we're here up on the tower and I feel like I need to work out more because I'm always breathless after climbing up. However, have a look at this. As promised, this view is breathtaking. Just have a look. Can you see the castle walls are basically going inside the water and almost underwater. And I think this is so beautiful. And also look at the skyline and all the views and it's, it's fantastic. I think I could stay here for the whole day just looking at this beauty. Okay guys, we're doing more stairs now. I have no idea where this way will bring me. I'm not even sure if that was open for public, but the door was open, so I came in. I see nobody here. Hopefully I can be here. And I don't know where we got, but we're climbing up even higher and I expect more amazing views. Okay, here we are. Look at these stairs. You can't really see it, but it's not very comfortable. But look where we are. Guys, just have a look at this view. It's absolutely amazing. You can see the whole town from here. And I think you can even see the mountains over there. And I think this is so beautiful. By the way, 
There is the parking that I've been talking about. As you can see, it's full. And look, all of the castle and all of the town right in front of you. How beautiful is it? It's definitely worth climbing up the stairs and being breathless as I am. There is this well that actually looks like a very old medieval well. Basically, it's a fountain and there is still water. I think that's really cute. You know, uh, Sirmione just gives up this vibe of a very medieval city, uh, differently from Desenzano. Desenzano is a bit more of a holiday destination and you can find lots of uh, quite modern holiday villas there. And it's still really cute and very relaxing, very nice. But Sirmione feels more like this a uh, lakeside medieval town with a fortress, with older buildings, with these wells slash fountains. And I think that's really nice because it's so different. These two towns are very close and you can get here even by bus from Desenzano in winter. During summer the ferry might be your best option because it gives you all of those amazing views, but in winter you can take the bus. And another perk of traveling here in winter is that the bus will be empty, there will be basically no one on the bus with you and yeah, it's much more calm and, you know, calmer, relaxing experience of traveling between the cities on Lake Garda during winter months, but I really like it. Still, I think Sirmione is a very relaxing place and you can walk here and just enjoy life, you know. There are also the famous hot springs, Terme di Sirmione, but we'll get there later and I will show them to you too. But even if you're not into hot springs, you know, just enjoying this promenade and the views and lots of swans and ducks, as I said before, is a really cool thing. I really like it, you know, it's a perfect holiday destination for all year round, in my opinion. This sound, guys, there is a pool there. It's not that hot today and I hope that pool is heated and it might be heated because there is also this very particular smell of the hot springs and uh, I, I can't really describe you this smell. It's not very pleasant, but it's not also, you know, a bad one. It's like a bit weird as a smell and I can smell it here. So I suppose that this hotel might have a thermal pool and it should be thermal because trust me, it's quite cold to swim in a normal swimming pool. In summer, guys, you can come here and have a swim. Uh, there is this little kind of beach, but there are quite a lot of beaches around the lake. I've tried swimming here once during summer and it was freezing, but if you're into it, I think that's a good thing to do here. Anyway, let's try the water now. It's so cold, you have no idea, but also like crystal clear, blue, but so, so cold. Guys, I can confirm that the prices here are quite high uh, compared to the prices of other places in Italy, obviously even during winter. Uh, however, they're not excessively high, so you can still uh, have a holiday here and stay on a budget, especially if you rent an apartment. And I can give you a tip, maybe you'd like to rent a place a bit further from Sirmione because there is a bus and it's very convenient for you to come here and enjoy the city without overpaying. And then inside the city you can find average prices, I'd say, to eat and to, you know, have fun. Look guys, as I said before, I really like how medieval these uh, houses are. All these passages and these streets, they are so old and I absolutely like it. It's like, you know, it's been a holiday destination for centuries and you can feel it. It's like an ancient holiday town, but I really like it. You can feel 
the history here, it's not only about relaxing at the lakeside, it's also about discovering local history and literally touching it. And I think that's so good. Sirmione is basically based on a peninsula and it's long and it goes further inside the lake, you know, like towards the center of the lake. And that's really cool because you can have access to the water from both sides of the city. And I think that's really amazing because, you know, you don't need to find a certain beach or something. You can just come here and basically from any point of the town, you can have access to the water. Oh, hi! Look here, guys. I think this is our friend from earlier. Hey there, buddy. You won't believe me, guys, but this house is the most photographed house in Sirmione. I think I found the only one, by far the only one, downside of visiting Lake Garda in winter. When this tree blooms, it's all covered with violet flowers and they're so beautiful and this house looks so beautiful and, you know, very insta worthy It's not right now, but just so you know, if you come here during summer, this place is a must. Anyway, it's still good, I still like it. These Courtyard, I don't even know what to call it. It seems a courtyard to me, so cute. So narrow, guys, look. It's very narrow, but also very nice, and very Italian. You know, you can feel that you're in Italy when visiting courtyards like this. More orange trees, guys. If you remember my video from Desenzano, I found a few orange trees there. I'm not sure whether those were oranges or clementines, but these look more like oranges to me, although I'm not sure, but still it's so good to see them. And here we are. Terme Catulo, as I promised, guys the hot springs, the famous hot springs of Sirmione. So the thing is, uh, this place used to be inhabited kind of by the ancient Romans. They had their holiday villas here around Lake Garda and uh, Gaius Valerius Catullus uh, used to have his own holiday villa here. We're gonna check it out a bit later. And these hot springs are called after him. And I think this place is extremely popular in Sirmione. Lots of tourists come here to enjoy the hot springs, to enjoy these uh, spring pools and the thermal water and we're not going inside obviously today however you should know that you can visit them and you know if something lacks here for total relaxation come here and after this place your holiday will be complete Guys, can you imagine relaxing in a thermal pool with such a view, enjoying the views of Lake Garda? It's been so cold the last weeks and I'm quite tired after the day of filming. I think I can definitely stop here. I don't know if I will, but I'd love to. Look guys, there are also several hotels right here and I think they are located in really beautiful places. Anyway, we're now going up to the Villa of Catullus. There is an archaeological site there and you can visit it and the views from there are absolutely amazing. And also the nature around, you will see what I'm talking about, is so beautiful. And I think we have to go this way. Anyway, guys, more climbing for me, more workout for me. I promise I will do more workout because I need to be uh, fitter to do this videos. Anyway guys, let's go! Uh, 
As I said, guys, we're approaching the Villa of Catullus and you can see lots of olive trees on the way because uh, this area, Lake Garda, is famous for its olive trees and for the production of olive oil. And also the variety of nature here is absolutely incredible. They have a huge variety of different trees and flowers and herbs uh, growing here. And I think this is spectacular. Look at these trees. They seem to be painted because they're so beautiful. They're like literally perfect. I think I love touching them because did you know that they have thorns? And I haven't hurt myself after touching an olive tree, so I'll just keep my hands to myself. But still, I think these are so beautiful. And this road up to the villa is absolutely amazing. You don't even notice that you have to climb up because the views are so beautiful. Look here! <gasps> Come here with me! Come here, guys! It seems like an olive grove here. And it's so beautiful. And this view, I can already spot it. You have to see it for yourselves because this is so, so beautiful. You know, one of the most uh, peculiar things about Lake Garda and one of the things that I love most about Lake Garda is the color of the water. Because it's not, you know, just blue as in any other lake. Or sometimes, if you know, the lakes might not even be blue. It's of this uh, amazing color just splendid it's crystal clear and so beautiful come have a look guys okay guys we are here and look at this view as promised the view from here is so beautiful and as i said before the water is so clear that you can actually see the huge stones beneath the water it's absolutely incredible also if you've noticed the panorama from here is very different from the panorama from the north uh, of the lake if you remember my uh, earlier vlogs from riva del garda and malcesine that i filmed in summer, yeah, that was in summer. I will leave you the links up here and also in the description box. The views from there were very different because the mountains were very close and you had this panorama with the mountains over the lake. Here instead, this area of the lake is wider and so the mountains are very, very far. You can't really see them. You can see a little bit, but not really. And also they are not as high. They are more like hills, to be honest, from here. So it's very different, but it's really good because I think you can have this diversity when visiting Lake Garda and you can travel around Lake Garda. I've said that before in my uh, summer vlogs from here. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is to take a car and go around Lake Garda and explore every single corner of it because you can see that. The panorama, the views are very, very different and also the towns are very different. And I think that's really cool to explore this diversity. Guys, here you can admire this archaeological site of uh, Catullus's villa. He was not a silly man to choose such a location. I have to tell you, the location in this place, with this nature, with these views, uh, it's, it's a perfect location for a summer uh, cottage, you know, a holiday villa. And it used to be enormous, as you can see from this archaeological site. It used to be really, really big and rich and splendid in my opinion and we're now gonna go and explore a little bit further The approximate era of the construction of this villa dates back to the period that lasts from the 1st century BC to the 1st century AD and I think this is absolutely insane to walk here and uh, you know touch, not really touch, but yeah we can touch I think <laughs> these stones that are so old and imagine people living here seeing all the rest of their life, of their house and to just think that there used to be those people walking here enjoying their lives just the way that we do today and this is what they left and i think this is incredible 
Once again, guys, I know I'm being annoying with uh, paying so much attention to the watercolor and its transparency, but have a look. It's amazing. You can see every single stone on the bottom of the lake here. And I think this is absolutely spectacular. And also the view from here is spectacular as well. Even if you don't have the view of those mountains, I absolutely love the view from the northern part of the lake. But here as well, the view is really beautiful. And this villa is so worth a visit, trust me. Honestly, guys, I'm enjoying this day and this filming so, so much. I'm not sure people will forgive me if I sit here. <laughs> well, I'll just sit nearby and touch it because I'm a huge fan of touching all things, if you've noticed that. But I think that the stone uh, that was used to construct these uh, houses and things uh, has conserved the energy of its old owners. And I think you can feel this energy when touching them the same way that you can feel the energy of a tree touching the tree. As I said before, I'm not touching these olive trees though. Anyway, guys, look at this nature here. Uh, it's winter, but you know what? The flowers are blooming here. The trees are blooming. You can see bees and bumblebees, and it's absolutely amazing. Here on Lake Garda, it seems like the spring lasts forever here. Whenever I come here, the weather is amazing. And that's it for today, guys. I think I found the most picturesque place in this villa where you can see the lake and see the archaeological site, who is the rooms and everything. And I think it's a perfect place to say goodbye. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos because I hope there will be more vlogs coming very soon, more travel vlogs coming soon. And as usual, don't forget to put a thumbs up, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for being here and enjoy your day.